Hello, here is Spartacus from Screw and Bones Band uh, One Man Band Project. I'm the man behind all guitars, bass, compositions, and vocals in this project. As you noted, uh, I love to research about things that may be hidden from us, like uh, fake moon landing, uh, hidden technology. I will ask you for patience to understand my English as I am a non-native speaker. I will try to articulate my best. Uh, today's uh, uh, subject will be why uh, NASA astronauts uh, have uh, feigned to be Freemasons. Uh, people use it to think they must be Freemasons because some ring or gesture they have seen on TV or newspapers. And there's an, an entirely good book about it, the Mike Barr and Hoagland uh, book. The one of the original NASA founders was Jack Parsons, and Jack Parsons were, were deeply involved in the Ordo Templi Orientis. I myself have already studied uh, the, the rituals, and I even had practiced it. I had been connected with them, with some groups of them also. I was involved in to Golden Dawn too. I was in Freemasonry uh, until the master degree, the lower levels. I had not seen anything bad as people used to think. No, nothing. I will not talk about rituals because it's like a club. But uh, there are some hidden knowledge and hidden in symbols. And uh, what I will tell you, anyone could tell you. I will make link with all these orders I have been and studied. I make just a link. I'm not breaking any uh, oaths. It's just my um, inference, my conclusion about it. And the conclusion is, uh, this, all these orders um, have in common, could say it's Kabbalah. But the Hermetic Kabbalah is a bit different, of course, from the original, traditional Jewish Kabbalah. And you can see, I will put here later, uh, the Tree of Life, it's an, a very important symbol and diagram that uh, can show you all the ten spheres uh, starting from Malkut. Malkuth is here. Malkuth is earthly plane and lower level spiritual realm. Um, it's a belief in all these orders, or some at least. To you travel to the other planes, you know, must know the passwords. For people who use it to, to try astral journey or mental journey, they will not uh, leave behind Malkuth plane if they, uh, they do not know the names of the god, uh, angel, from the uh, uh, next plane they want to enter. So, uh, there was a correspondence between Yezod and the moon, Levana, uh, which would be our higher astral plane. Uh, 
uh, so uh, in this universe, uh, physical universe, uh, the moon would be uh, out of reach of uh, uninitiated persons. To reach the physical moon, you must know the names of the angel and the god associated to the plane of Yezod. That's why if the people behind the NASA are religious, uh, studios or members of many uh, organizations, of course, uh, they, if the, their bosses are into it, uh, they only would choose to set foot on the moon or to travel next in future to Mars. Uh, only they would only choose people that uh, had been initiated, had the this passwords and names marked into their souls or our. You don't need to remember, but if you, I might believe, if you had passed the low levels in Jeicheon, you became a master, or so uh, in your aura, there's a cosmic egg of energy around you, this sign will be imprinted. And so when you reach the gate, you're gonna pass through. You don't need to remember. Uh, in your conscious mind, the passwords, but they are still there in your subconscious, so you're gonna pass. If you send, my belief, they think if they send an uninitiated people behind, uh, out of Earth sphere, uh, something would happen, the rocket would explode, they would not reach and would not be able to get out of the earthly plane. So, and that's my two cents of knowledge. Uh, you are welcome to leave nice comments below. Uh, trolls will be suppressed, of course. <laughs> but uh, even you know, if you don't like, you could put it uh, here. Thanks for watching. Until my next video. Bye.